Hello, Flickering Myth family and all you Doctor Strange magic heads. My name is EJ Marino, and today we have a spoiler review. Yes, there's going to be spoilers in this video, so if you've not seen Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness or want to know nothing about it, tune away now because we are diving into the five biggest spoilers from Doctor Strange 2. For those who missed it, you can find my full Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness review up here. Overall, I was a bit hit or miss on the movie, more of a miss, but there was enough to talk about that I'm actually excited for the spoilers. There's things in this movie that I was so surprised that they did. They pushed the boundaries of what they can do with their multiverse in a successful way. Probably the most interesting outing we've had with the Marvel trying the multiverse yet, but at the same time, I think there is some things that they could have went a bit further with. I Look, I am so surprised that they brought Patrick Stewart and the actor who played Black Bolt on the Inhumans. I can't believe that they're here, but at the same time, that scene, I'm confused on how I feel about the Illuminati scene. It was cool, but I wanted more. So yes, in this video, we will be talking about the biggest talking points, five of them. We have things like, what is America Chavez doing here? Who are the Illuminati and what the hell happens? What are we going to do with Wanda? What's the future of Doctor Strange? And overall, how does this fit into the multiverse of madness? So enough of this, let's get into all of these juicy spoilers. We're starting out with what everyone wants to know about the Illuminati. They're here and not the Illuminati that people get crazy about on Twitter and think everyone, you know, all the pop singers are in. No, there is a Marvel Illuminati, which is basically the strong of the strong, the very smartest people who are just there to kind of protect things, at least in this multiverse. Our Illuminati in this movie consists of Black Bolt, played by the actor who was in the Inhumans. Surprise there. We have a, a Monica Rambeau, or Marie Rambeau. I forget the daughter, mother or daughter, but it's Lashana Lynch's character. She was in uh, Captain Marvel. She's our Captain Marvel here. We have Captain Carter. Yes, Haley Atwell is here as Captain Carter. Pretty cool to see. I like Peggy getting to be a pretty big badass. We have uh, Baron Mordor, or at least Carl Mordor, which is Chiwetel Ejiofor's character. He is dreaded and pretty badass in this, like his look. Then the two biggest surprises, John Karinsky as Fantastic Four, Mr. Reed Richards, oh boy, in a comic accurate outfit. Speaking of comic book accurate, we have Patrick Stewart as Charles Xavier. These are crazy cameos. These are really weird stuff. I was happy to see Lashana Lynch in here. She does really good. She fights um, like Wanda in this stuff. So Wanda's doing this thing called dream walking and basically hunting down America and Strange. If you're at the spoiler review, you should know a little bit about the plot at least. But yes, uh, uh, Wanda is hunting down America and Strange, finds them in the uh, Illuminati like facility and says, Let's go and basically tears through the Illuminati like they're cool. They're strong. They have some stuff with uh, strange, but as soon as they get attacked, it's over for them. Like Doc, like um, Reed Richards, nothing. He is silly string by the end of this. Black Bolt, his head busted in. That is the sickest, craziest scene. Wow, Peggy, girl, cut in half by her own shield. Crazy. Now, Lashana Lynch's character, she just kind of gets squashed and I'm like, really? That's what we would do with a Captain Marvel? fine whatever i'll take it and then we have patrick stewart who uh basically gets his ne neck snapped in his mind which kills him in real life yeah he tries to go into the wanda stuff and i'm like you learn you should have learned this with uh with phoenix so we're trying to put crazy women's minds into a box ain't gonna work out did not work out for him uh the only one who lived was uh, uh chiwetel's character he basically faced off with strange and strange was like stay here bye and we didn't see the end of him like i'm just like what are we doing? Like, what, what, what's, what's the point of this Illuminati stuff? It's cool. It had some good moments. I'm sure they're test running John Karinsky as the Mr. Fantastic. Will he work? People seem to like him. I'm not a big fan, but uh, the, he got a pop in my press screening for a press screening to make a reaction. You know, it's a bit serious. So that is the Illuminati. Pretty big stuff. Pretty bold moves. So America Chavez is in this film. She is going to be an important part of the MCU going forward. She has the ability to punch star-shaped holes through the multiverse. What happens when Kang gets a hold of her? We know he's coming. We know he's going to be in the Ant-Man movie. We've seen Jonathan Majors tease a little bit of Kang in the uh, season finale of Loki. 
So what's America going to do? By the end of this movie, she's working with all the sorcerers, with like Wong under the Sorcerer Supreme. So what's she going to do? I'm really curious. She has a lot to do in this movie. Basically, Wanda's hunting her. She wants her powers so Wanda can be able to go see the kids. America basically figures out that I'm pretty strong myself, so I'm going to face off with Wanda myself and does a pretty good job. She does a really good, interesting moment where she shows Wanda, you know what? Let me give you what you want and let me show you what's going to happen. And she beats Wanda without her, without real physicality with her mind, which we'll get to my feelings on Wanda in a second and what to do with her character. But yeah, America had a good start and I definitely think she's going to be a big foundation for going forward MCU stuff. Like her power is too important. And if we're really going to get into multiverse stuff later on, unless this is it, but who knows if we have more multiverse madness going on, America's going to play a big part. She's a big part of this film. You can definitely tell like Kevin Feige and the MCU want to push her forward because they made her like a supporting character, like a, a one on one like level with strange in this movie. So, you know, they're going to try to do more. Let's hope she can be well received by the fans. She wasn't a bad actress. She wasn't a horrible character. Just didn't give me the oomph that I wanted. Now, Doctor Strange is in a weird spot at the end of this movie. He's gone through a lot, but it seems like Superior Strange or Supreme Strange is coming to basically kind of oomph this. Like, we have some stuff going on with Doctor Strange and what's he going to do? Like, he has a third eye now. Is he a bit evil? Did the Darkhold change him? Yes, he has to use the Darkhold in this movie to help defeat Wanda. Seems like he doesn't need to. He does that dream walking stuff, which goes into a corpse of himself. Oh my god, it gets crazy. Yeah, you think the Marvel zombies are in this, but it's just a weird Doctor Strange in his corpsey body. But one of the biggest parts of this is the post credit scene that sees Charlize Theron show up as a female Sorcerer Supreme? Like, what is her role? I think her character in the comics is Clea. I don't know much about it. I'm not going to be one of those people who pretends that I know everything about every Marvel thing. But she's here now, and it seems to be she has some stuff to deal with with Strange. Their post credit scene was very quick, very thing. Charlize looks great. She was with a, you know, weird CGI background. But hey, fine. What's she going to do, though? Where is her? Where is she going to take Strange? Is she going to be a Doctor Strange 3 person? Or do her and Strange pop up in Loki or other stuff? I'm curious to see if Charlize is in the MCU for a long time, but she's going to be here for a good time. She's Charlize Theron playing off Benedict Cumberbatch. It should be pretty good. Now, Wanda. Wanda is revealed early on in this movie as the villain, which it's not too shocking, but what's shocking is the ending of her character. She basically says, oh my god, I can't do this. I'm a monster. I'm not just a mother. I'm a monster. And, like, collapses the dark hold holding facility on herself. And I'm like, that's the end of Wanda in this movie? It just felt so... Ugh, like, I, I, she was a badass, kick-ass villain the whole movie, and then the last two seconds, it feels like they were just like, no, no, but we can't have her be a bad person. Merchandise, like, let's, let's, let's fix her character a bit so not everyone thinks she's an evil, crazy monster, and I don't know, I just was expecting Vision to come help her or, or something. It feels like this movie really wanted to love Wanda, but it just seemed to like Wanda. It just didn't give me exactly, at least with what they did on the television show. I think WandaVision handled watching her be traumatized over and over again very well. It feels like this movie didn't know exactly what to do with her. So where do we go from here? Is she dead? It's Wanda. She's the Scarlet Witch. I don't think she's gonna die. Like, I'm sure the Darkhold maybe just like, can't let go of this powerful witch yet. Who, who cares if you can destroy our, the, our little holding building, like our temple. It's, it's still evil forced magic. Like, I'm curious if chaos magic is going to play a bigger part or is this the end of Wanda as the evil villain as we know it? Like, I don't know. I, I, I just... I'm, I'm let down a bit with Wanda in this movie. I, I liked a lot of her scenes and then by the end I was just like... Where do we go from here? I, I want this to be a bigger spoiler section, but other than she gets crumbled on by the building, I don't know where we go with Wanda. I hope she's in more stuff. I hope we get more of Wanda. But if this is the end, as this movie tried to tease, I don't know about it. In that post credit scene that I talked about that had Charlize Theron kind of split open the timeline and go, 
all right, Strange, we have to go fix some stuff. It had a bit of that multiverse stuff that we got from Loki. Are we going to see all of these things converge in a multiverse movie? How much more do we have left? I would like to see... This movie does a weird job of setting it up. That I Like I, I said in my proper review, this felt like a setup for more stuff than an actual multiverse movie. So I'm curious of where they can go from here. I am looking forward to seeing them try a bit more of this with more of the characters. I mean, we have Harry Styles showing up and you know, Charlize Theron. Like, are all these characters are one day going to mix like we did in Avengers Endgame and like Infinity War? Can we even get to that point? Will the multiverse allow it? I'm curious. Now, I'm really hoping forward, like looking forward to the day that like Doctor Strange faces off with Kang. But is that in the cards? What do you all think? Where do you want to see the multiverse stuff go? Do you want to see it end with this movie? Or do you want to see it get crazier and wackier? How much more can they do? I want your prediction. So I'm going to use this section to say, let me give, let me get your multiverse ideas. What do you want to see? Especially with the end of this movie, where could you see them going? Share all your feelings down below. There's a lot of stuff to talk about with all that. All right, everyone, that is it for my five major spoilers. Well, all the biggest talking points from this movie. I wish I had more to talk about. I'm sure you'll find a channel that was just like, there was an Easter egg that referenced this one thing. Like, yeah, they made the 616 reference and all that jazz. But yeah, I want to know what you all think of this movie. Share your feelings down in the comments below. Subscribe to Flickering Myth because we make videos like this every single week and let's keep the conversation going share your favorite doctor strange 2 spoiler down below and let's get into all the multiverse madness